morning guys beautiful August morning here it's nice and chilly out got the sweatshirt on it means fall is getting close so yeah Squatta Mountains they're doing a really good job they did the blowing off and they're doing the washing so can't complain about that but yeah they do a very good job but yeah anyway that's kind of what I'm, we're up to today at 780s over there I'll bring that here once uh, once they're done with this thing flip that thing around new camera this thing's awesome but anyway you can see up there they're doing a really good job had the auger swung out so they're gonna they are going to uh, get the auger done and then uh, we'll get her get the cab detailed out real nice like for Mikey G this is his combine so um, I don't know how he get how the combine drivers get out of it me and Charlie were talking last night they just let us guys work on them but you know what I actually don't I'd rather sometimes do this and sit in a truck so or do whatever else I like cleaning. I like keeping things, making things look nice, satisfying. So, anyway, yeah, there's your X9 getting shined up. So, well, I'm out here by the uh, 780. A uh, few things I failed to mention yesterday when Thomas was out here. Um, so yeah, I am going around inspecting things. I guess just things that <clears throat> kind of stand out, like belts. Those are a huge, um, can be a pain when you're trying to get things done. They'll, they'll start chewing up. You'll, you'll usually have a little bit of time to see if they're going. They'll, uh, kinda, they'll kinda start, uh, breaking up a little bit. So that is something to look for. Another thing I seen yesterday when I was looking around when the camera wasn't here is, uh, well, you like to open up the, clean grain elevators I can't I can't tell if you can see that but there seems to be a ton of slop in here and, and uh, last year when we were in corn I think we had the chain break uh, I wasn't Mikey G was running at that time but I think we had to put a new link this return clean grain elevator is, is also seems a little loose so we might tighten that up take a look at that other than that, we got to just change a few settings for corn. Um, another thing I forgot to say is underneath here is the rock trap right there. So yeah, I popped that open. There's no rocks in there, but I just popped her open, blew her out. Got her looking nice. So yeah, just get everything kind of checked over and dragging our feet till harvest. No, we got a lot to do yet, so. Anyway, that's what I'm up to, and I'm gonna take this up, <clears throat> move this back up there, and we'll get her all shined up nice like so. Yep. Well, we uh, just did a little swap here, put the other RX and the X9 away. I didn't record much, just got busy. But anyway, we got the uh, other 8 RX out here, and uh, we're gonna go through that, and the 780. Um, gonna do a little check through that that um, I did already blow out the uh, radiator here uh, it wasn't very dirty but I'm gonna check the coolant level uh, oil is good and uh, I pulled the air filter out and um, we got a cab air filter up here Sam's in there detailing pull this out you just go like this kind of hard to do one handed there you go. it's kind of locked in so you can't just slap open and fall out so that's the combine one that one's nasty we're gonna bring it back here and uh yeah get things cleaned up i'll show you how much dirt's left after this one this one's very messy but as you can see it's well overdue so here we go.
just from that 20 seconds, that's how much dirt came out. About two pounds lighter, like five pounds probably. Yeah, well, we in theory should have more power in our tractor because that's restricting airflow. So, anyway, thought I would show how how much how dirty those things get. I got to clean off, clean all these out yet, but anyway. Yeah. Well, we got Sam going up there, filter here. That's for the Ader eight or, eight or right there. That's how much dirt was in there. Probably was an extra five pounds of dirt. But yeah, we're just uh, got cooling all back up the back on this unit. Just have to basically grease it and switch a few settings over for corn. Or, or soybeans, not sure what one this one is going to be on. So yeah, let's see. Alright, so All right, we are uh, gonna be turning into the other X9. The clean one is put away there in the shop. I'm gonna go through it, grease up uh, what we need to. Um, we didn't put a ton of hours, might do the 50 and the 200 hour greasings on it, but we're gonna check oil levels and also probably detail up or get the cab cleaned up and put parts in it for what we need for doing soybeans and corn so anyway um yeah here's a little walk around i don't know this is without the heads so you can i should do a comparison of what the difference is on uh between this we gotta pull this 790 up by this one to show the difference but the uh feeding house area is significantly larger more product so um I don't know all the specs and I'm sure you really don't care to hear all of it. You can go watch a John Deere video, but I do believe they increase the capacity area of the feeding, all the proce processing area by like 23%. I was doing a little reading up on it. I think it's 45% more product production going on, more, more uh, efficiency or more just um that much more uh threshing is going on um so for 45 percent more harvesting capacity there's a lot of stats on it um and you're using only 11 percent more power so it's just way more efficient with the power usage compared to the 790 um and after I thought at first I never really looked into the guts of it too much when I was when we were running them out in the field, um, but yeah, I got all the shields opened up here and I'll uh, kind of show you the difference. Uh, it's a way different layout in here, obviously. Um, the elephant in the room, the twin rotor. That's the new system going on. That's their new. Uh, that's the whole different gig with it. So. Uh, on that 790 there's cross augers for uh, separate augers pulling grain out and then uh so these shaker tables are something different um and then yeah we got all the sieves in the bottom here and uh yeah the cleaning area is just massive um so this is something i will uh have to clean up here gets all that crud weeds and whatnot builds up in here so I'm gonna clean that all out get that looking nice um, I guess something I did not mention what we like to also inspect is your sieves if you get a rock for some reason ran through here which you shouldn't but that all that can bugger your sieves up so I like to just look at that but these this unit only I think got ran for maybe maybe 30 hours at the most. I would have to even look at it. So this is the newer X9. Um, this thing shouldn't take much to clean up. I'm just gonna 
blow a little bit of it. I just, yeah, really, maybe don't even need to do much, but I'm gonna, we're just gonna get it looking, get her looking nice for corn harvest since we have time. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show you guys, and also, I could take you around the back. I got the choppers lifted up here. But yeah, it's uh, just a massive cleaning area in here. So when you plug it up, it's not super fun, but I never, um, I never, I guess the only time I plugged up the rear chopper for some reason seems feeding into the chopper and this comes down, this opens up. This is where it seems to have issues plugging and I caught it right away, but we did have a few incidences. Well, so I'm not the only one and Thomas, yeah, he plugged, but, um, well, I'll call out some. Noah plugged like four times, so, and uh, so did Mikey G and Spencer and Max and Sam. Well, maybe Sam didn't, but yeah. So everyone kind of plugged it. It was just a, not a fun year. Just for some reason, the weeds weren't, were uh, pretty bad, so. Um, but yeah, we did have it plug up into the rotor, so we had to take the concave grates out on one of the plugging ups, the pluggages, so not awesome, but yeah, so usually when it does plug it, we'll just build up here and you gotta raise up your chopper here, throw it out, and then usually you're good, so you just want to catch it before it gets to the rotor, so if you do plug up, but yeah so something something else that's kind of neat on these x9s is uh how you get up onto the back um it's kind of a new design kind of cool i guess but totally redesigned the rear end uh fuel tank def system but i don't know what the pros and cons are but it's like a little low on coolant but yeah anywho we're gonna do, I gotta get back to work here, so. Well, that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, if you did, go smash the like button. I've been watching YouTube videos, that's what they all say. But anyway, um, that's kind of what happens this time of year around the shop and stuff. So we thought, might as well take a video of that. Um, hope you guys learned a little bit from Ben. And uh, leave a like, subscribe for more content. And uh, we will catch you in the next one.